Hi everyone. Welcome to Top Notch Lectures. This channel is exclusively for CA and CMA professionals. In this channel, you can able to gain knowledge of the professional studies from basic to advanced level. Let's go into the video. Today we are going to start with the subject cost accounting. Firstly, we will see how the evolution of cost accounting is. It is a specialized branch of accounting where it has developed during the past few decades in order to overcome the limitations of accounting. Financial accounting reveals the profit or loss made by a concern during a particular period and also its financial position or on a particular date normally as on the last date of the financial year. It may not be sufficient for the management to plan the future and take decision regarding its operations and control. Hence, the need for the development of a specialized branch of accounting to, pl to plug the hole arises, which results in an accounting called cost accounting. With this introduction, we shall now proceed with the basic cost accounting concepts. The first and foremost concept is cost. Cost means it, it actually incurred in manufacturing a product or rendering a services. This is the meaning for the cost. So this can be used for the exam purpose for writing the meaning of the cost. These are the four examples which has been prescribed here and one of such examples can be explained now. Like cost of furniture is 15,000 which means we have spent an amount of 15,000 in making the furniture. In other words, we can say that we spent 15,000 towards the cost of material, labor and other expenses. Thus, cost means an amount of expenditure on a given thing as here the furniture cost 15,000. Here we come to know like cost has been divided into material, labor and other expenses. Here material means commodities supplied to an undertaking. For costing purposes materials may be classified into two broad categories direct material and indirect material. First we will see what direct material is. So these are the material that are used directly in the production process and are reflected in the final product. Example, paper in books. Paper is the primary material as must be the part of the final product. The next concept is indirect material. Here, the material which are used in the production of the final product indirectly. So, these material cannot directly measure and conveniently charge to the cost of production. Example, thread used in the stitching garments. That is, in stitching garments, thread may be classified as indirect material. Next element of cost is labor. Labor cost refer to the remuneration paid to the employees by the business in the form of wages, salary, bonus, allowances, etc. for their time and effort. They usually split into direct and indirect labor cost based on the workers contrib contribution to the production process. Direct labor. Direct labor comprises work done on certain products or services. Indirect labor is an employee work that can't be traced back or built to services or goods produced. For example, hair stylist at a saloon who perform haircuts and other services are considered as direct labor. While the maintenance staff and the receptionist who support them are indirect labor. Last element of the cost is other expenses. Expenses refer to the cost incurred on something and when it comes to the business, the incurrence of expense is a daily affair. These expenses may be related to production on regular basis on the business operations. When expenses are linked to the production of a product, it is considered as a direct expenses. This is the meaning of the direct expenses and such examples has been given here. 
expenses which are incurred to manufacture a pro product and bring them into a saleable condition are considered as a direct expenses. Excise duty on output produce. Excise duty is a form of a tax imposed on the goods for their production, licensing and sale. An indirect tax paid to the government of India by producer of goods. So this is a direct expenses. The next part is indirect expenses. Expenses incurred to sell goods and to operate the business are called indirect expenses or otherwise called as operating expenses. Example, if a machine is hired to complete a particular product, then the higher charges paid for that machine is a direct expenses of that particular product. For example, when a book is printed, it, it is rather easy to know how much money has been spent on the paper used and also on wages paid to the workers who were engaged in composing the matter, proofreading and machining the book. Such are the instances of direct expenses. But in addition to these expenses, there will be a number of other expenses which will be incurred not for the sole purpose of the book but for the benefit of all the work which is going on. For example, the building is used for all the work done. Therefore, it is not easy to say what exact amount of out of rent is to be allocated to the book. Similarly, the wages of clerical labor, supervisory staff, etc. cannot be easily allocated. Such expenses are known as indirect expenditure. Hope you guys are clear with this video. In my upcoming videos, you can see the whole lectures of cost accounting. Simultaneously, I will post videos on other subjects related to CA and CMA. Kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon for further notifications. Meet you in the next video.